Hey guys, what's going on? It's Simon here and welcome back to another look at the Minecraft 1.3. Now, the last couple of episodes I've just showed you some of the major updates and the ones that you'd uh, you'd really want to see. Uh, now, these ones today, they're kind of smaller updates in their own, but I think they're going to be uh, really cool to the game. Some things are just uh, really nice to see. They should be in there for a while. And uh, a lot of them actually relate to stuff like um, adventuring, say if you're doing an adventure map, uh, things like that, they will be really useful in the future. So the first thing that I can't really show you is adventure mode. I believe that's still in development, but it's definitely something planned, which basically means, say for example, I'm obviously on creative mode now, but if I was on survival, I could be walking through some kind of awesome village that someone's built for an adventure map, and then I can just be like, lol, 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 and grief it, um, or do it by accident, or a creeper blows it up. Um, now that can be quite annoying, so on adventure maps now they're going to make it so you can uh, have an adventure mode and you basically can't destroy blocks, which is going to be friggin' awesome, I think. I think that's a, a really clever idea, um, and I think it should make adventure maps a lot more playable, um, definitely for those that sometimes don't understand why you can't break blocks or they try and cheat, so I think that's really cool. Uh, another thing that's definitely designed at Adventurers is the Book and Quill, as you can see here. Um, so the book and quill, I assume, um, I haven't looked at the, the recipe to make it, I assume you should get a book and probably an ink sack and I guess uh, a feather or you can make a quill separately and uh, basically you can write in it, you can write a book so I can just write uh, blah, blah, oh god I can't even spell blah, that's pretty bad, uh, there we go, blah blah blah, you can sign it, uh, sign it by RuneShark and hold on, I have to sign it myself do I, Simon, awesome, sign and close and look now we have a book, Simon by RuneShark and, oh, that was the name of the book. Oh, God, it's called Simon. That's that's bad. If someone's reading that, they're going to be like, what the hell is this? And if you read it, here we go, page one of one, blah, blah, blah. I think that's a, a really neat update. People may think, well, that's pretty insignificant. It doesn't really matter to me. Uh, that's fair enough if you don't think you can use that. But if you've ever played, like, an adventure map, you'll know that sometimes when you're reading, like, uh, if someone has a map that actually, like, takes the image off uh, the roof of a building or it's just like you have these weird notes that you have to have on signs and you're reading across a massive amount it's really annoying and I think this could really really benefit the, the, the whole of Minecraft with some awesome new adventure map stuff so definitely glad that that's in place. Now you can see that I'm uh, standing next to a dispenser and that is for a good reason um, this is because if I look in the dispenser, I've got nothing in there, hold on, let's put a lava bucket in there. Uh, you may be thinking, hold on, what's it going to do, just shoot out a lava bucket and I'll pick it up again? Oh, no, no, no. In theory now, hopefully, here we go, they've changed it so you can now eject source blocks. The bucket still remains. Um, can I scoop it back up? You can't scoop it back up. Oh god, this could be disastrous. The, oh, oh, I did not think, I did not think this through. I apologise, apologise villagers, I'm just, I've just ruined your town. I've just I've given it some light though, it was getting pretty dark and gloomy. Oh dear. Oh god, it's burning their crops. It's burn oh oh no. Oh no. Is it it keeps going, it keeps spreading across the water. Don't spread all the way. I wanted to show something in this water. Awesome, it hasn't spread all the way. Okay, what I'll do is uh first of all I'll uh I'll just make it daytime so we can actually see stuff and I don't get killed by mobs for the next bit where I'm actually going to go on to uh, survival. I'm still loving, that's still creative, damn it. Um, I'm loving the fact that you can just change this now um, on the offline mode which is uh, awesome. Obviously the new sort of type, single player commands type mod but it's not even a mod anymore, it's going to be part of the game. So I'm on survival mode, you may be thinking what am I doing? I'm going to drop in some deep water and you think I'm a nutter, I'm just going to sit down here, I'm going to drown and die. Um, so previously when you started drowning Basically, even if you were like about one block from the surface, if you got to the point where you started to drown, it was almost impossible to get back up because you had the knockback. When you drown, you got knocked back. Uh, this has now been removed. Now, even if you're you're drowning, you still don't have a knockback. So even if you, you're literally half a block from the surface, there's no chance of you dying now because you can quickly get back up without any problem. That is a much needed update. It was completely ridiculous how it's like you thought, yeah, I'll, I'll be able to make up with only taking a, a few hearts of damage and you'd actually end up dying because uh, you, you just got screwed over by the knockback. So I'm really glad that they've, uh, they've sorted that one out. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is what I have on me. And oh my God, look, I'm standing where, holding a book and I'm in chain armor. You may think, well, hold on, chain armor isn't that impressive? It's been in the game for a long time, which is true. But it's only been in the game uh, through creative mode. You may have seen it if you've done some adventure maps. Often they put it in as like a nice little thing because you don't see it in survival mode. Uh, but now it is in survival mode, and you can get this, uh, if I find the guy, uh, by talking to the blacksmith of a, an NBC village, hence why I'm over here. Uh, but now blacksmiths wear black aprons. Is he here? Is he here? No. Nope. Is that him? It is him. Black apron. Hello. Oh, um, he's going to give me a pickaxe. I don't want a pickaxe. If I buy your pickaxe anyway, do you sell, sell me something else? 
Oh, okay. Well, I assume it's not every uh, every villager that sells it. Now, I've tried uh, a few of them, and they definitely don't all sell it. But if you're lucky enough to find an NPC village that does actually have uh, uh, maybe a couple of blacksmiths, you've got a good chance of getting some chain armor. It's not the best armor, but hey, uh, it looks pretty funky. I'm looking pretty cool in my chain suit, so you uh, may want to go for that one. Uh, similarly with the chain armor, uh, one thing that you couldn't get before in uh, in the survival mode is the bottle of enchanting which you see here now if you don't know what this does uh, you can smash it and it basically drops XP orbs and you get levels um, this is quite an overpowered item but uh, obviously you only have a very small number usually so you don't get that many levels now if you find yourself a priest is he in the he's in the church the fuckers never in the church god damn it where are you he's got the uh, I know he's got the pink robes on looking properly gay where is he I can't find him all right, well, you probably wouldn't have sold it to me anyway. It'd probably be like the, the the blacksmith. I'm trying to demonstrate, and it'd probably be awkward. God damn, he's, he's, this guy's gone. He's lost. He's, uh, he's never coming back. All right, well, you can take my word for it that you have a chance of trading some emeralds, your hard-earned emeralds, uh, for bottles enchanting if you want to get some quick levels. And so that's a, a new feature coming into the game, which I think, I don't know, it's, uh, it's quite neat, that. Um, now, you can see that I've got a ton of apples on me. And again, so uh, this is uh, another change in the game. You may be wondering, well, hold on, Simon. Why have you got... An apple, a golden apple, and then another golden apple. What the hell is this? Um, so we're used to the golden apples that have the little enchantment on, and these are now basically um, going to be what are the the new ones. So the old ones that you have at the minute will be probably be turned into this, the golden apple without the little enchantment on, and that's because there's now two different ingredients to make golden apples. Uh, if I throw an apple in there, the first and the one we're used to uh, is the one with golden nuggets, and this will heal a certain amount. Heal an okay amount, um, and I don't know whether it has the healing over time effect, but uh, the one that you really want to have is the one using gold blocks. So you can see how expensive this is going to be. Uh, eight gold blocks, that's 72 ingots, and obviously uh, a billion more nuggets, basically. And uh, you can see you make this uh, enchanted golden apple. Um, obviously, they will have different effects. Oh, just launch my apples away. Oh, dear. Um, but obviously, it just means that getting the, the normal golden apple is a very feasible thing to do. Uh, you only need eight golden nuggets. Not too hard to get. That's basically just one ingot and you're set um, and obviously if you want to make the the proper awesome golden apple that gives stuff like fire resistance it gives some extra bonuses as well um, then you are going to really have to pay for it with all of those gold blocks so that is quite a tough cost but um, fair it's fair enough because it is uh, a really really good piece of food now heading back over to the blackness area you can see why the hell have I got levers on the roof well quite simply it's just because you can now put levers on the roof uh, before like, oddly enough, you couldn't put a lever on a block upside down, and that's just a change that's made from my Minecraft 1.3, and you can now do that. So I just thought I'd show it. Uh, next one, very small again, um, but could be very useful for, for some map designers and stuff like that, is the fact you can now trigger pressure plates, like on this table here, um, by shooting an arrow at it. So if I get a bow, launch an arrow, and as you see, it's stuck in there, and it's completely stuck down. That thing's not moving, so basically that acts as a switch now. It's got an arrow in it. So uh, you can now use that, and I reckon you could, uh, again, another bit of an adventure update there. It could be really, really useful in some things like that. So uh, definitely an awesome new feature. All right, guys, well, I wanted to keep this one fairly short and sweet. I've showed you quite a lot of new things that are coming out in 1.3. Again, as I said, most of them are tuned towards the kind of adventure style of an update. But um, I definitely uh, I think this will be really beneficial to stuff like adventure maps. And even if you're on survival mode, there will be some uses as well with that. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.